The description of your item is entered into the description field. Each site may have its own description field. On Amazon, for instance, the description is already in the Amazon catalog and it doesn't need to be entered in 6-bit. On Etsy and eBay, you are allowed to enter descriptions. However, Etsy only allows text and eBay will allow text and HTML. But remember on eBay that active content like JavaScript is no longer allowed. To enter your description, you can simply enter it into the description box. If you want to use HTML, you'll have to open the HTML editor from the pencil icon. In this example, I'm going to make Slinky bold. And when we preview it, we see that Slinky is bold. Click OK to save it. And now you'll notice the description contains the HTML that was created in the HTML editor. If you've created enough items, you know that a lot of the description can be repeated in multiple listings, and it can be a pain to add it to every listing. Uh, examples are things like the company message. You might have a message that talks about your company, or you might have, if you sell lumber, you might have notes about how to grade lumber. If you ever changed the method you used to grade lumber, or if your company message ever changed, you'd have to go back into each item to make those changes. We've introduced description wrappers to help solve this problem. A description wrapper will contain all of the text that's common to multiple listings. In the wrapper, you'll indicate where you want the information, like the title and the description, to appear. And then you'll assign that wrapper to the appropriate items, and your complete description will get built at submission time. This allows you to enter the common data only once, and if it ever changes in the future, you can change it in just one place and then bulk revise all the items that use the wrapper. Let's look at a company message as an example. Suppose in a bunch of listings, I want a company message that looks something like this. It says how long we've been in business and how many items we've sold and what our feedback rating is. We could enter that simply into the wrapper and it would appear in every item that uses this wrapper. So if I save this, save this item, and go look at another item that uses that same basic wrapper, if I preview it, we'll see that it would contain the same message. If you've developed or paid for a custom template that has nice graphics around your listing, you'll enter them into the description wrapper so that they'll appear in all of your listings. So the general idea is that the description should contain only the information that makes an item unique and the description wrapper should include everything else. We've shown how you can add the title and description into your description wrappers, but if you look on the left, there's a complete list of all of the different fields that you can include from your item. This includes custom fields. So for example, in this item, we have some custom fields that include target audience, who the item is targeted for, and whether or not it's fun, yes or no. So when we're in our description wrapper, we can actually include values from the custom fields. So for example, we could say it's fun for, and then to get our target audience, we'll just double click the target audience field. Now any any custom field can be added simply by putting the name of the custom field in double square brackets. So when we do a preview, it now shows it's fun for a girl or a boy. If you sell different types of items, you can create multiple description wrappers. So for example, if you sell shoes and clothing, you could create a wrapper for your shoes that happens to include a shoe size conversion chart and then also a wrapper for pants that would include a pant sizing chart. Anytime you listed shoes, you would use the shoes wrapper. Anytime you listed pants, you'd use the pants wrapper. Now, both of those wrappers may include common information, like say your company message. So to avoid having to repeat entering the company message in multiple wrappers, we've implemented snippets. A snippet is any bit of text in HTML you want to save to use later in any description or wrapper. So let's look down in the corner here 
and we have an examples snippet called about us we'll manage and edit that snippet and you'll see here that we've put in our company message that talks about us in this case it's going to replace the business name from our profile into the message and then it's going to say we've been in business since 1997 and how many items we've sold and our feedback rating so by creating this snippet we can now enter this snippet into any description wrapper to get that message and you'll see here that's exactly what we've done in our pants description wrapper if I preview it you can see where it's entered the business name and has entered the message now later down the road when I've sold over 600,000 items I can simply go to the snippet edit the snippet to say 600,000 and then just revise all of the listings that use those description wrappers. I won't have to go into each item and change that message individually. You can create snippets for any bit of text that you want to include in multiple description wrappers. For those of you who really want to harness the power of description wrappers, we even support conditional logic. Now, conditional logic is a simple way of programming if statements into your descriptions. For example, you may only want to see a label if the value of a field isn't blank. So let's say you're creating a table. In this case, this seller sells wood and toys. So on their wood items, they might specify a board length of, say, two feet. But on their toys, that doesn't mean anything, so there wouldn't be a value there. In my description wrapper, I might want to see a board length label only if there's a value in this field. So here's how I would do that. We've included a snippet to provide a sample of an if statement. So simply by double clicking the if statement, it'll pop it into your description. Now the syntax of this is if a variable has a particular value, then what's between these quotes will be output. If it does not equal that value, then what's between these single quotes will be output. So we wanted to check to see if the board length equals nothing, then we don't want to output anything. But if it doesn't equal nothing, then we want to output a label along with the value of the variable. So when I preview, we'll see that when there is a value of two foot, in the custom field, we get a message that says board length two feet. If I were to clear out this value and then preview it once again, since we had no value there, we don't get an empty message that says board length with no value. Another thing we can do with if statements is we can conditionally include text based upon the value of another field. So in this example, once again, we had custom fields that had target audience, a, a girl or a boy, and is it fun? We could include an if statement that says, if is it fun is true, then we'll output it's fun for and then we'll include the target audience notice how we can nest custom fields or any field within the if statement itself and if it's not true then we don't want any message at all and that gets us it's fun for a girl or a boy using conditional logic you can really reduce the number of description wrappers that you need to create if the difference in the description wrappers is something that's based upon a value in your item. So the whole design of description and description wrappers is simply to provide you a way where you can enter just what's different on the item window without having to go in and change your description each time. 